story to tell. My dear audience, the Vietnam War from 1954 to 1975 is one of the 11 great wars of modern history. For America, this was the largest war in its 200-year history. The time that the U.S. joined the World War I, World War II, and the Korean War combined was less than half the time that they fell into the Vietnam War. Almost half a century has passed since the end of this war in 1975, but we still talk about it as a way of commemorating the soldiers who died. In this video, we will explore the beginning of this war. Why did the U.S. go to war in Vietnam? Video with reference from thurko.com and some Vietnamese documents. Thank you for listening. The end of World War II led to radical changes in the international situation. War has completely changed the force relationship on global scale. This posed the problem for the winners to abandon the outdated and inadequate colonial system. However, giving up interest in the colonies seems unlikely to be possible for capitalist powers. France conspired to return Vietnam in order to re-establish a new colonial regime. The U.S., from disinterest in the return of France, supported France and ultimately interfered directly with its own in the Vietnam War. According to Thruco.com, Beginning in the middle 1950s, the American policy establishment intended to view the situation in Southeast Asia in terms of domino theory. They feared that if Indochina were thrown into the hands of the communists who were fighting the French, the expansion of communism across Asia might be out of control. The domino theory suggested that other nations throughout Asia would become satellites of either the Soviet Union or Communist China, much like nations in Eastern Europe had become under Soviet domination. After the World War II, from 1949, fear of domestic communists gripped America. The country spent much of the 1950s under the influence of the Red Scare, led by the virulently anti-communist Senator Joseph McCarthy. McCarthy saw communists everywhere in America and encouraged an atmosphere of hysteria and distrust. Internationally, following World War II, country after country in Eastern Europe had fallen under communist rule, as had China, and the trend was spreading to other nations in Latin America, Africa, and Asia as well. The U.S. felt that it was losing the Cold War and needed to contain communism. It was against this backdrop that the first U.S. military advisors were sent to help the French 
battled the communists of northern Vietnam in 1950. That same year, the Korean War began, pitting communist North Korean and Chinese forces against the U.S. and its U.N. allies. The French were fighting in Vietnam to maintain their colonial power and to regain their national pride after the humiliation of World War II. The U.S. government had an interest in the conflict in Indochina from the end of World War II until the middle 1950s. And in support of France, in May 1, 1950, the President of the United States quickly approved a $10 million grant to France, marking a major decision for the United States to become involved in the Indochina War. Thus, from 1945 to 1950, the United States implemented a policy to support the French recapture Indochina, to extinguish the communist fire in Indochina. This also demonstrated an American obsession with the domino effect, fearing that communism would dominate the world. Throughout the early 1950s, the Viet Minh forces made significant gains. In May 1954, the French suffered a military defeat at Diet Bien Phu and negotiations began to end the conflict. Following the French withdrawal from Indochina, the solution put in place established a communist government in North Vietnam and a democratic government in South Vietnam. The Americans began supporting the South Vietnamese with political and military advisors in the late 1950s. The French failure at Dien Bien Phu created a great deal of concern for the U.S. global strategy. The American rulers have recognized Vietnam as the most important outpost in the U.S. global strategy in Southeast Asia. Therefore, the U.S. took steps to help Ngo Dinh Diệm establish a pro-American government in South Vietnam to realize America's strategy goals. On July 7, 1954, the United States brought Ngo Dinh Diệm, a long-time American race, to be Prime Minister of the South Vietnamese government. This was an important move, a prelude to direct U.S. intervention in Vietnam. The Washington administration said that losing Indochina would have negative psychological, political, economic, and military consequences, and most importantly, lose the rest of Southeast Asia. Indochina was becoming the first domino card. According to Felix Green, a British journalist, the U.S. target was not only Vietnam and Indochina, but the whole of Southeast Asia. Because this is one of the richest regions in the world, it is for those who won the battle in Indochina. That was the reason why the U.S. was increasingly interested in the issue of Vietnam. For America, it was a region that must be won at any cost.
Many other historians believe that the fundamental and enduring goal of the United States was to protect existence of a pro-American government in South Vietnam, not only to outpost against communism, but also to maintain the lasting influence of capitalist power of America on the Southeast Asian market. My first video about the Vietnam War answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị trong các video tiếp theo.